We live in a world where technology extended way long ahead and worth much more advanced, but the demand for analog watches yet booming around the globe. A timekeeper is now more like an ornament rather than a time teller. Yet it brings some complications based on its categories while you purchase. Either you choose quartz and compromise elegance and aesthetics, or put on your cost and have a classy jewel. So today we are going to present you the role of quartz versus automatic watch and help you to decide which one to buy. Let's begin. Let's talk about the automatic watch first. The automatic watch is by default falls in the category of mechanical watches, which has great history and heritage. Self-moving technology was the major revolution for manual movement in mechanical watch history. The automatic watch is a kind of mechanical watch that generates energy through the natural motion of the wearer. It is also called a self-winding watch that doesn't need unnecessary manual movement. The Swiss company, Hurle, is considered to be the first inventor of the automatic rotor that winds the spring. On the other side, Canadian engineer Warren Morrison first invented the quartz movement in 1927. So how this invention works? Why you asked? A quartz watch is integral with a battery that is powered by an electronic oscillator, unlike a mechanical watch. An oscillator is an electronic circuit that produces a periodic electronic signal. So then, this new innovation gradually created its own space in consumer demands. Honestly, both watches have some advantages over each other. Quartz watch has more options, from budget to expensive lineups, and the automatic watch offers more prestige and elegance. The interesting thing is that you have to push the manual mechanical watch more often, but the automatic mechanical watch is self-winding. On the other hand, the quartz watch gets power from the battery to regulate the time accuracy. Regular quartz may lose around 10 seconds a month, whereas expensive loses up to 10 seconds per year. Gravity, tolerances, and lubricants may affect the calculation of quartz. If you are near to MRI, X-ray, dentist's office, or any doctor's chamber, then your quartz can lose its accuracy in proximity to high magnetic fields. But the amusing thing is quartz can outperform the COSC, or Control Officiel Swiss des Chromometers, requirement compared to automatic watches. COSC is a certification to a body structure that is responsible to keep the time precise and accurate. With this, quartz can be accurate to 0.02 seconds per day, but the cost of this certification is dramatically high. So, alternatively, the Breitling Quartz, which has already brought a new trend and more refined watch innovation, it fits with high-end quartz movement and created a new aptitude with accuracy and precision over the COSC. In comparison, the calculation of the automatic watch can vary from day-to-day -day performance. It can lose time in high temperatures, but gain under low temperatures either. As a result, the watch can deviate by a plus or minus 5 to 10 seconds per day. That is why it is recommended to have your mechanical watch serviced approximately every 5 years. Why about everything we said? What about durability? Well, both categories can survive well underwater. The quartz is enough capable to absorb shock and is sustainable for rough situations. But shock can ruin mechanical movement and cut down its longevity. And some automatic watches can even survive for a few generations. But the quartz timepiece got a limitation of 20 to 30 years lifetime maximum as tested. Let's talk about looks and aesthetics. As always, the mechanical watch has a fascination and it considers the fundamental concepts of horology, not because it is better than quartz. Rather, watch lovers tend to prefer to choose for their hands mostly. This marvel of engineering represents the watchmaker's art, metallurgy, passion, and elegance. On the contrary side, quartz is the first choice almost for every type of consumer. It's easy to produce at a much lower cost, though it may not achieve the aesthetic look of the mechanical flagship, yet provides a decent, pretty, and gorgeous countenance. Additionally, the inside of quartz can be an impolite and lackluster experience either. On the other hand, if you ever take your time to view the inside of a mechanical, then you'll be amazed while beholding the effort by watchmakers that went into the watch. Quartz doesn't need the kind of attention and maintenance compared to automatic. In the regular case, your quartz would just need to replace the battery one time per year, 
or if it is powered by a solar battery, then you may not be worried for seven to 10 years. But an automatic watch doesn't need to change the battery. It will last long forever, except for the servicing every five years. To talk about the price, Quartz is cheap and easy to produce mass in number nowadays, unlike other categories. It is much cheaper and more accurate. The automatic is quite different in this case. It is sensitive and less accurate, which requires more maintenance. Self-winding watch is expensive because of lots of craftsmanship and artistry. It takes time to produce. So time brings cost, right? Therefore, the price of an automatic watch goes high as up the sky. The drawback is the mechanical watch does not have a battery, yet it's heavy. It reserves low power by the coiled mainspring. Yet confused to choose the perfect one? Just take it easy. If you're on a budget and want decent looking, or you have a tendency to replace your watch more often, then go for quartz. And if you're sensitive to aesthetics, elegance, and price range, servicing doesn't matter to you, then go for automatic. But you can find some quartz watch brands that come with expensive prices and artistic designs either. So which one would you love to go for? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for diving deep into the world of watches.